this is Clive Branson. I hope you enjoy this free video cassette and in this film I will demonstrate to you fishing with the loafer and balsa method on running water. Now when changing a complete tackle rig, say onto a stick or a waggler or a loafer in this case, one would automatically presume that it's going to take, what, three, four, five minutes. If I told you that I could possibly do it in ten seconds, would you believe me? No. Well, this method I'm about to show you now won me the World Championships. Okay, so if you'd like to start timing me now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, anyway, I've actually done it already, but what I've actually done there, you see, I don't know if you saw that in, in the speed that I've done it, but I'd already had it all set up on a winder. Now this technique we picked up from the pole techniques. A lot of continental, uh, continental teams have, have actually showed us a lesson here. Last year when I was in France, I noticed some of the anglers fishing wagglers and alternating their tackle ends from winders. Ever since, ever since, I put my wagglers, my sticks, and even large pole floats and even chubbers and in this case a loafer on the winder and I'm all set up ready to go okay right anyway let's try it let's see if it works this particular loafer uh, is two and a half swan shot how it's tackled up we put the bulk of the shot roughly uh, two-thirds from the float and we got one drop of shot one BB below okay to stabilize the hook and the bait but when we cast out we've got to cast it in such a way that just as it re hits the water we feather it with our fingers so it'll lay out behind it okay I don't know if you can see this now the best way to cast the loaf is actually side arm or underarm for this, I'll do it side down. Feather it, there you go. First chuck down, let's see if we get a fish. Went under, probably the bobbin. No. Yes, well, 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 look at that. Ooh. There you are, see that quick change method brought the fish on a second cast down. And I would say it's probably a roach. There you go. That's it. Ah, roach. <laughs> there you go. Yes, in the, uh, in the World Championships, I was using a heavy float and I needed a lighter float. So it took me, what, less than 10 seconds to change a complete waggler rig. But hadn't it, if I hadn't had it set up on a winder, then I probably wouldn't even have bothered. But just by changing that float, I believe gave me those few extra fish. And it can work wherever you go, just like it has here. There you go. Be 
interesting. See if we catch another one. Fantastic fishery. Brilliant. Come on in. Ooh, I think they're getting bigger, these roach. Must be getting bigger. <coughs> yeah, always lift the fish upside down to unhook it because they become disorientated and it's easier to unhook. It was certainly worth the trip. I think I'd come to Denmark any any time now. So ground bait. That was another bite then. Hmm. Shall we go again? This time I think I'll try casting a little bit further over, just into that slack water, which is lying, I would say, three foot from the far bank. Oh, not quite far enough, but I've got a bit of slack there. Uh, it's holding. Ah, it's interesting. See then whether there was a bite or not. And again. Now hold the bait or the last shot in your fingertips and with a sweeping motion let it go and just feather it as it hits the water. Hmm. The flow's coming back on itself here. Yeah? See if I can just edge it towards the current going right to left. Should I go down slowly? I got him. 
Now the roach, ah, no, that's interesting. Now the roach are definitely down the end of the swim. Just I, just I thought they might be when I seen those few top a little bit early on. So the roach must be lying behind the bream. There it goes. Uh, not bad. Five, four, five ounces. Okay. Certainly makes a change anyway from catching the bream. So it's quite strange how really I wasn't getting them on the tip. This is all these roach want that bait moving. There you go. Ground bait. That was a shock. Catching a, a bream on the on the roach line. Well, well, well. Go oh, look. Look at the bend in the in this rod. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh well. Mind you, it's a bit higher that than the, those roads, so who knows? I get, I get a distinct feeling as if the bream actually pushed the roach out. Right. Come on in. She goes beautiful. What a lovely fish. God. That's gotta go four to five pounds. Oh, such a small look, see? Look at that. <laughs> That's probably my biggest fish on the float. Would you believe it?